Okay, we are starting off our journey, giving our sun tow peak five, I believe. First proper test going up several big hills. We have approximately 90% charge. Let me just check that. Yeah, there we go. 92% charge. I'm going to set this on to a hike. Okay, let's set this on to a hike. Now, what I've noticed is a lot of the time when I start an activity, this comes up. Okay, I've only ever dismissed it. And when I go into my app later, it has the route, the track, everything tracked on GPS, just as though that never came up. I've never seen it any other way. I'll let you know if it changes. But we're going to start our journey here and uh, see how long the battery lasts, if it's as good as it says, and uh, whether everything else comes up that's actually usable for hiking. Anybody? Take it. Oh, there is something genuinely forlorn about climbing mountains that you can't fully see. Definitely is waterproof. <laughs> Making progress. Gloves on. It's getting a bit nippy, a bit windy. And like I say on that previous video, a bit sketchy. If this is the top, I'm gonna to go up here see if there's some sort of plaque. Normally there's a mark or some sort. I mean, I know this is here, but it's, it doesn't have the mountain name. The map says I'm pretty close to the top, so we'll climb up to the top of these rocks, see what see what it says, and then then we'll find some shelter. See if this fog passes. See you later. So apparently this is one of the sites of the region. It's called the Windy Valley or something. It's between Great and Green Gable. That, that's the track I was pointing out a minute ago. It's, it looks a lot steeper than it does on the phone. And I mean, you just gotta check out this view. It's absolutely phenomenal. You just can't beat it. What an amazing moment. Okay, some sort of cloud. So we are, oh, can you see this? I'll keep going back round to the start. So we are five hours into this hike. We've gone up the mountain, back down. We've uh, decided not to go up mountain two because all my waterproof gear is no longer waterproof. Everything is soaked through. Um, even the stuff I've got in my bag, which was also in a waterproof pouch. So on the good side, the watch is waterproof. Nothing else I'm bloody wearing is though. So, nice heart rate. It'll track this once you download it onto the app later. Just go through these screens. Second screen is, I believe it's just a second display option. Same options there. One thing I've noticed I haven't got on here is my battery. What's remaining. Um, I need to edit that later. And now this is pretty good. Um, now, when I got to the top of the mountain, the fog came in really, really quite heavily. I had to stay up there for about an hour. Well, not even that, about 40, 40, half an hour, 40 minutes. Found myself a little cove, made some food, uh, went from there. Now, I very, very came close, or very nearly came close to using this find back option, um, which on your watch directs you exactly the way you've come. Now, the problem is the way I came up required quite a bit of scrambling, which I didn't particularly want to do on the way back down um, in the fog and rain and wind, etc. So, unfortunately, I had to get the old map and compass out 
and do it the old fashioned way and head northwest, sorry, northeast, uh, until I got to a valley, in which case I've made my way down, at least I could see where I was going. But all in all, this watch, uh, it's given me a a what I believe is accurate heart rating. I've checked it multiple times through this uh, this adventure. I wanted to make a few more videos for you, but unfortunately the, the trail itself was somewhat more arduous than I anticipated. This is one of the first breaks in the rain I've got, so I thought, yeah, okay, I'll take a little video now. I've probably still got an hour of walking to get back to where I need to be. Um, oh, yeah, but I've just come down that one over there. Um, and uh, I need to get myself down there. Walk to the left about, now, about half an hour to 40 minutes, but that's that's a false peak. There's another one behind. Um, and further up, it's uh, I imagine in a nice sunny day would not be that uh, challenging, but well. I need to take a video for Scarpa later as well because my boots are falling apart and I've split down the side and that's all on this little adventure although to be fair these trousers they're drying out pretty quick but they were completely sodden so anyway um, would I recommend the Sonto 5 so far I've used it for about 10 weeks actually probably a bit more and I've only really recorded my my football my football trips my uh, my stints with the guys playing footy um, a couple of walks on the beach with the family and then obviously this. I genuinely think it's a great watch. I think the battery lasts really well. I charge it once a week on average. Um, we started off with uh, about 90 odd percent on this. What I'll do is I'll make sure I take a picture slash a mini video when I get back to the campsite. When I when I end the activity and I'll show you what battery is remaining after how long we've been walking. Um, but for the price that this thing commands compared to the competitors, you Garmin and, and uh, Fitbit etc. I think this is cracking. I think this is a bargain, especially if you get one on a on a summer sale discount or something like that. Um, I bought this myself, by the way. No, I'm, I'm not popular enough for anybody to give me a free. So I hope you enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I think it really helps out. And I think if uh, if I'd have been up on that mountain for another 40 minutes, I genuinely would have used the uh, find my way back button. So well done, Sonto. Thank you very much. Okay. So here we are, yeah, you can see that. finishing our activity, took a lot longer to get down than I anticipated, and that, saves it, then you can import it to your phone. I'll see if I can do a screen record or a screen capture once I've got it on the phone. It's, if it works like the football one, it gives you a nice 2D map of, of everything and the routes that you've taken, etc, etc, etc. Which is quite nice, to be fair. Oh, no. Not to my phone, but here we go. So, 11.78 kilometres took me seven and a half hours. I mean, that, if that's not disappointing, try not to judge me. My coming down the hill is always a lot slower mm. ok not bad I'm hoping you guys can see all of these oh definitely do not want to delete Sixty nine percent battery. So I think we were at what 92, 94 when we started, so that's not bad. That's not bad considering it monitors your heart rate almost continuously while you're up there. I think that's pretty decent.